Hey guys, it's Landon from RH, and this is the second video in the little set of videos I'm doing that show you how to put planimetric line work and, and a, a little bit of annotation together for a site plan. So in the last video, we got our drawing set up with our high-resolution orthophotography, and I just traced that first feature, which was the creek. In this video, right before I hit the record button, I'm sorry, in this drawing I went in, and I set up my layers. I think this is all the layers I'm going to need. So you can see I've got these GIS layers with some colors and some line types set up. So I'm going to go ahead and close that now. And what we want to do, I don't know what happened there. Oh, did I do that in the wrong drawing? No. Nope. All right, hang on, guys. Something happened here. All right, that was really weird. I don't, I don't know what happened, but here we go. We've got the ortho photography, and you, you guys are going to hear my wife in the background. I'm sorry. She's loud and Mexican, and I'm at home, so there's nothing I can do. One of these days, I'm going to have to introduce her on the learning channel to you guys. That would be a hoot. All right, so we've got the creek I drew here. I'm going to go ahead and take this creek, and we're going to drop it on the right layer. So we're going to put that on. <laughs> All my layers are gone. Hang on. All right, I think I'm finally rolling here. So let's put this on the creek layer. JS Lines Creek. You can see that change there. Uh, the line type, let's go ahead and set our line type scale. We want it to be, I'm trying to remember here, we're going to be 200, I think, for the overall. And you can see we lose all our dashes. So what we got to do on this polyline is we got to enable the line type generation. So we're going to say enabled. So now we're getting we're getting some dashes there. Those dashes look too big to me though. Let's do LTS 100. All right, that's a little better. So we've got our creek in there now. <clears throat> trying to see if this. Uh, if I want to call that a, a creek or not. I might call this a creek. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to add this creek in here, guys. And then I'm going to just kind of do a rough outline of the of the wetlands. When I have that drawn, I'll jump back in. We'll get it on the right layers. And, uh, and then we'll do the farm roads, okay? All right, guys. So I've done a fair amount of work here on the, on the line work. I just wanted to get you guys caught up. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and fade this image back. So it'll make it a little easier to see the line work. So I just jumped back into my ortho drawing. I'm going to grab the image there. And you can see right here it's got a fade. I usually like something between 60 and 70. I don't know what just happened there, guys. Sorry. Let's try that again. So, Oh, it's locked. we got to unlock it. Let's try that again. All right, so you can see we got a fade on it now. Let's go ahead and lock that again, save it. When we jump back over to the line we're drawing, it'll prompt us for a reload. So you can see that makes the line work really pop. And the other thing I did is <clears throat> I had to go in and add a couple new layers. You're going to find sometimes that happens as you're working on the, on the planimetric. So they've got some fire breaks in here. So this farmer... Uh, has put in this is all fire break here uh, it's not really a road it's a fire break so I made a fire break layer they've got the airstrip so I made a a layer for the for the airstrip center line let's go ahead and just make that a little bit of a different color so we've got the airstrip we'll make that uh, kind of a green so there's the airstrip <laughs> I've got the creeks in here. I need to put this on the creek. Whoop. Undo that. I got to put that on the creek layer. <clears throat> okay, then I went ahead and and put in some approximate wetland boundaries, which you can see there. Now, what I'm going to try and do, I wanted to show you guys this, is I'm going to run the rev cloud command, and then I'm going to take an entity, specify first point or entity. Let's hit enter. So you can see when I do that, it is going to let me kind of put a uh, 
a little bit of a of a hoop a hoop line type to it. it I like to use that for for the veg. Now I went ahead and put those. Whoop, went ahead and put those on the current layer, which is not what I wanted. Whoop. I'm in the middle of a command there. Sorry about that, guys. So we'll just grab those now and get them on the right layer. So I, I called that wetlands limit. Every once in a while when you have a real sharp corner, you'll get something like this. So what you can do is you can, sometimes you can pull this, you can pull these out a little bit to just fix that. I got another one that crosses here. It's not gonna. It's not gonna like me no matter what I do there. <laughs> I probably need to explode that and trim that out. But I'm gonna leave it for now. All right, we got a couple more. There's a couple more pieces here, guys. Sorry, let me fix that. So we'll rev cloud these. And we'll do it one more time. Oh. So on this one, I want to reverse the direction. So we'll pick the entity, and then when it says reverse, we want to say yes. So those look good. We'll get those on the right layer. So I've just about got everything I, I think I want for the plant planometric line work on this outside edge. Now I, I looked, a, I took a close look at this. This is a little berm. I don't know that I'm going to put that in there. Um, and this really isn't a road, this is actually a fire break. So let's go ahead and we'll, we'll draw on this fire break real quick. Because I've actually, I've actually walked this and you, you can't drive it. He's just basically tilled this fire break in, the farmer. So it looks like the fire break goes to about there. Okay, this is actually the farm road. Now uh, those line types are a little bit too similar. Did I put this on the farm road layer? No. So let's fix that. Those those layers just look too similar. So let's make our fire fire break something a little bit different. So we're gonna give that. Yeah, it's a little too red. Give it kind of a burnt brown. And let's give it a. We'll go with a hidden line type. Alright, that's a little better. Now that now the fire breaks look a little bit different. So I think I'm about I'm about done here. Oh, the other new layer I added, guys, was there's this main irrigation ditch coming in here. I didn't want that in the creek layer, so I went ahead and put that on the irrigation layer. So I think that's about what I want. Now we may end up I may end up putting a hatch on that wetland area. I think that might might be helpful. And then I might we might go ahead and hatch these as rice fields. And uh, it looks like this is mostly grazing ground. This could get hatched as grazing, grazing ground. <laughs> but I might just do that with some labels. Well, uh, I don't want to go crazy with the hatch because it might it might overwhelm. We're going to have some. We're going to end up with some contours on here too, and some line work and labels for the for the boundary. So I I don't want to go crazy. I think that hatch might be too much. So this is pretty good for the for the planimetric line work for this overall parcel. I'm going to go ahead and save it. So what I'm going to do in the next video is we're going to come in and we're going to just focus on this area here. We've got a, a couple, a little shed, a couple of sheds, a trailer, the main house. We've got another kind of manufactured home here. We've got a garage. Uh, we've got a, a shop build, a couple shop buildings. Uh, we got to label this solar. We got the well and uh, the septic and a couple things that need to go in here. Maybe the driveways might have to label the driveways. So we'll go ahead. We'll 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 start working on this in the in the next uh, in the next video.